Congressman George Santos will no longer serve on House committees for now. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner here with us with what's behind George Santos's reversal. Lisa. Well, Dana and Dick Congressman Santos says he chose to step back from these committees temporarily until he is cleared from these investigations. Now, often we see the congressman dodging reporters' questions, but a short time ago, he said he will be cleared. Are you confident that you will be cleared? Yes, I am. Why, Why are you confident? I'm confident I'll be cleared because I, mean, I, have, I have nothing to hide. Congressman George Santos is confident everything will be okay after a House ethics investigation into his campaign finances. But he told colleagues Tuesday he's stepping back from his two committees, the Small Business Committee and the Science, Space and Technology Committee. It comes days after his campaign treasurer, Nancy Marks of Long Island, resigned. When asked who is his treasurer, his response? I, I'm, I haven't been in touch with my campaign staff. I've been focused on the work here. The Federal Election Commission sent Santos a letter earlier this month requesting more information on his campaign filings. Santos met with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy Monday. The voters have elected him. He'll have a voice here in Congress, and until he um, answers all those questions, then he'll, at that time, he'll be able to be seated on committees. Santos supporter Congresswoman Elise Stefanik was asked if he should resign altogether. Like all of my colleagues, uh, particularly in New York State, uh, I supported George Santos as the nominee, and the people of his district voted to elect him. Outside Santos' congressional office in Douglaston, Queens, which still bears the sign of his predecessor, local leaders called for investigators to also look into Santos' 2020 congressional campaign run, which allegedly took ghost donations. Essentially, this brazen act of campaign finance fraud allowed him to take money from one source, and we don't know where that source was, and circumvent campaign finance rules. In a statement, Congressman Richie Torres, who handed Santos, the Ethics Committee investigation against him said he's a disgrace today and he'll be a disgrace tomorrow. He should resign from office immediately. Now, if it comes to the point that Santos does resign, New York Governor Kathy Hochul would have 10 days to set a special election to replace him. Dana and Dick, back to you. Lisa, thank you.